Hey guys, hey, if you love Hawaiian food, especially Hawaiian street food, you gotta go to Costa Mesa. There's this place called Ipon. <laughs> You know, what? I'm gonna turn my alarm off. It's off. Yeah, that was such a alarm. Yeah. My alarm's off. All right, we'll we'll try that one more time. Now we got the dog in, so we're now we're cool. Yeah. Hey guys, if you really love Hawaiian street food, there's only one place to go in Costa Mesa. What's the name of that place? Ipono, baby, and it rhymes with the root, the good stuff. It go is. try them out. Fabulous place. So we've got Chef Gene, the owner of Ipono, and he brought some grub for us to 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 grub on, to eat, nosh yeah, on, there you go. and uh, we're about. I'm salivating. Gene, welcome aboard, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for having yeah. me. You put yeah. this one at a loss for words right now. He's like, oh my god, he's been on a diet. <laughs> so. <His> stomach's busy. <laughs> so, Chef, I know you're from Hawaii and uh, you're a native. And what made you do this? What's what? What sickness is in your head to make you make this fabulous food? Fuck, there's a lot of fake Hawaii places in the mainland, that's why. Ah, sure, I bet. That's well, the number one reason. I definitely want to hear what made you do all this, but I know it's making me do this, and I'm fucking hungry. It's <laughs> great. So I'm hungry. That's my fork. <laughs> yeah, that's my fork. <laughs> dig in and give me one star ratings, please. <laughs> that's all that matters. We only do one star ratings, guys. Oh that's my it. Gosh. That's all Dude, we do. Your Mac salad, though, hits. This stuff, like, uh, this is, uh, look, at Maisie's eating. Oh my God, are we right eating? Now. Yeah, eat, eat. Just don't are eat that one, in? that one has coconut for Okay, you, I want, so. I'm allergic to coconut. You're allergic to coconut? Mm -hmm. I am yeah. anaphylactic so allergic to coconut. this is ahi here? That's ahi katsu, yes, Ooh. served rare. Oh my God. Little oh my panko breaded, Japanese okay. style breadcrumbs. I mm. Look at how pretty that is, I don't know, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, we, we actually Dang. give a fuck with what we do. Holy to have a proper, shit. like, seared katsu, that all, or the seared ahi that's also breaded, blows my mind. Like, I, do, I, I feel That's like- That's awesome. Oh, amazing, you're not getting any of this. Tiny well, I'm not, I'm not some schmo that just came out of a fucking cafeteria, you know what I'm saying? And just pretending to be someone I'm not. That's the We're not talking factor. about Denny's here? No, 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 no. You know, a lot of times, these people that claim to have Hawaiian food, they usually have Asian infusion, or they, it's not Hawaiian street food, it's some kind of variation of Asian food. I'm yeah, big, yeah, yeah. I'm a big uh, Loco Moco fan. Yes. And nobody gets it right, and I swear it's just not right. I should have brought one for you, to show you how <laughs> oh, it's done. But it's yeah, so you're good. right because all the Hawaii, Hawaii, so-called Hawaiian places in the mainland serve Asian. It's all other Asian ethnicities that's in Hawaii, mm -hmm. not Hawaiian food. So that's why we started Ipono Cafe to kind of give ho the Hawaiian culture its identity back, right? Because you tell people, hey, let's go get Hawaiian food. Yeah, okay, I want chicken katsu, but that's Japanese. That's not even Hawaiian. You, you know, so that's a huge difference. You had this sick dream. Of you, you know, you're, you're, you're uh, holding up in Vegas, doing your thing. You got your family in Vegas, and you decided to run to Orange County and, and build this thing. Yeah. So tell us how you even, how that even came about. Is that because your buddy Pat was encouraging you? or? No, no, actually, the fuck, you know, you always get a straight answer from me, but I left Vegas because I was fucking up. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah, it. it happens. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I still had, my, my kids were younger, but, I mean, you live in Vegas, you're single. At the time, I was, I'm a single dad. I mean, you're 24-7, you're party. You fucking meet chicks, you meet guys, you just party. Is that kind of the vibe of Vegas? That's the vibe of huh? Vegas, right? Especially, no. <laughs> especially the culinary industry. Yeah. Right? So I was kind of sure, fucking right. up. The hours you're on, the you're chumming it up with folks, and then they're like, hey, come fucking kick it with us out here. Let's go party yeah, there. So yeah. The saying is with culinary industry is we're a different type of breed because when the normal people are getting up for work, we're just coming home from our day ending. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Your drinking day starts at six. I mean, and yes. you're there, I mean, it's your entire life. So you're just dipping into, you know, whatever is available at your restaurant. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. And it's usually a lot, you know, there's a lot of groupies and stuff like that. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, most of the chefs that I know are. Like you said, it starts yeah. with the restaurant, you know, maybe yeah. an hour or two before you're closing, you're telling the bartender, hey, fix me something. So you're already pre gaming before you start oh, yeah. gaming, you know? Yeah. So, what? Chef, just <laughs> describe these dishes for us. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, right here is what actually a lot of people come to the cafe for. It's one of our original dishes, which is a guava chili pepper fried chicken. Whew, I'm putting the dog down for this <laughs> one. <So. laughs> we fry it. Oh, my God. 
God. amongst other things, and then we dump, we okay. dip it into our uh, guava chili pepper glaze. Oh my God, and then that serve sounds it over rice. amazing. Macaroni salad and Asian slaw. Uh. So yeah, that's our guava chicken. You guys demolish the roots plate, -uh. which is Korean <laughs> short rib, ahikatsu, and shoyu poke. Mm. And that's another thing that makes us different is our combinations. We have a lot of combinations that all these other whack ass places don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you'll have a lot of flavors going on. It's so, so it's, it's good. <laughs> so chef, oh on, a, on, on average, what is a plate gonna cost me at your, at your place? Average, our plates are, range anywhere from 15 to 19 bucks. Oh, awesome. You know, I mean, we're right next door to a burger spot that's serving fucking combination with burgers for like 16, 15 bucks. Yep. So we're right in that price range for where we're at. But and you get a lot of food, guys, you get a lot of food for 15 bucks. I mean, it, you're not gonna be able to finish one of these. This is insane. Right? I'm correct so to Ipono Cafe. Yeah. Bring two sorry. 20s and leave it at the door. That shit is good. <laughs> I don't know who the dumb bitch is that said that you got one star for this. She is, I, I don't know what she's eating that's better than this. No, she's this a genius so because I started the apparel <laughs> because of her. So. One star. Yeah. So I'm making more money because of you. Yo, one star girl. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your top ramen, Toots. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chef, what do we have here? Uh, this is the chef's plate. Okay. So you have teriyaki beef and a piece of uh, garlic mahi-mahi and oh. spicy poke. So the mahi is done like a Japanese version where it's egg-battered. Oh, I was going to say it looks like an egg. It's egg-battered, yeah, okay. but I guarantee you, you will not find a m more moist piece of mahi than that. All right, well, my I chicken's down. You. Okay. Yeah, next. <laughs> Yeah. And if I'm wrong... I can't stop eating this. <laughs> if, if you're wrong, we'll edit it in post. Yes. <laughs> try, here, try something better. Try something new. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's flaky. It's moist. I mean, guys, when I go to Hawaii, I love the street food, but it's even hard to get now. Yeah. You know, when even in the homeland, you can't get it. So it's nice to have this in Costa Mesa, guys, on 17th Street. You come down there and uh, you feed the dog. <laughs> no, not on purpose. I tell you a true fact though with this is a lot of people from Hawaii, a lot of surfers, I'm gonna throw him under the bus, but Billy brought a Billy Kemper. Oh. Always comes, right? Shout out to you, Billy. Uh, he'll come in and he'll come and eat at the cafe. Just from leaving Hawaii, they're gonna come and eat at the cafe. Oh, sure. And they'll tell you, a lot of people will tell you that this flavor profile we got going on tastes better than Hawaii itself. Than home, yes. than the homeland. It's so good. And the reason why is because people just don't give a fuck nowadays. They just cook to cook. That's true. I love that you're bringing it like across state lines, right? That it like it's almost international given how far away Hawaii is. Yeah. And Vegas yeah. is such a draw for a lot of folks from the islands. And that, it, it, like, I remember when I was at Ruka, and we would have folks come over, and they'd be like, "Bro, like, Chef Gene told us to come check this out. We made like the five-hour drive over here to grab his food. Like, yeah. makes us feel right at home. Like, it, the way it brings people together." from all over, is it, it's just what food should do, man. Yeah, I mean, you said, you said it, dude, right? When we're growing up, our grandparents, I mean, we don't see that kind of grandmas or grandpas anymore yeah. that we grew up with, right? right? Where, okay, Sunday, come over. It was, a, it was a family thing where you'd eat with your family. Yeah. Right, you'd catch up, you'd talk shit, you'd mend relationships if you're fighting, right? <laughs> right. Or, or whatever it is. Yeah, or yeah. 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 But we don't have that, and food. Food is the number one thing that brings all types of people together, and the cafe, so many people tell me that they haven't seen a certain person in years, but they see them at the cafe. And then they reconnect and they just catch up and shit. So we definitely have a good thing going on, dude. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of love there is what we're saying, guys. Yeah. I mean, this place, the food is amazing. This is insane. <laughs> Listen, oh, man. I love Hawaiian street food and it's so hard to get, but boy, you come to this place, Costa Mesa 17th Street, guys, this is the real McCoy. You're gonna love it. I mean, backstory, I was following him on Instagram because my boyfriend watches videos every <laughs> single day and be like, babe, check this out. Look at this food, looks amazing. And like, oh my God, he's hilarious. Because he would make these crazy ass rant videos about somebody who left a terrible review or complained about their food and it is so funny. It is so good. So Stay good. tuned for those Yelp reviews because we're going to be showing you the gold ones here yeah, in a yeah, few minutes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know, we, I only attack the ones that deserve it. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, well, they all deserve if it. If they but, earn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all deserve it. But I mean, especially if the ones that just come out, they're, you know, pull their head right out their ass and just talk about shit they don't know about is yeah. the ones that really get it. The Ipono Cafe, guys, it's a one star, but believe me, 
It's a five all day long. Oh my gosh, so good. Let's get to those reviews.